Nasser Hussein's player ratings, Joseph Butler produced one of the great one-day innings. England picked up their first ever series whitewash against Australia thanks to a heroic display from Joseph Butler on Sunday. Butler turned the game on its head to post a brilliant unbeaten 110 at Old Trafford to ensure England ended their series against Australia in style. Sports Mail's Nasser Hussein has marked every player out of 10 from the Oda series. England Joseph Butler 9.5 That was one of the great one-day innings. The way he marshaled the lower order, the bloke's a freak. He's phenomenal both with the bat and behind the stumps. And he's too good to be pigeonholed as a finisher, which is why England are right to promote him up the order when they've got off to a flyer. Jason Roy 9 at times, he's been happy with flaky 30s and 40s, plus the odd big score, but Roy showed he's better than that. Made up for being run out for 82 at Cardiff with a ton at Trent Bridge and then another Durham. Johnny Bairstow 9 as dynamic as Roy, but also hit good balls for 4 and 6 more often than any teammate. Very tricky to bowl at. And he does it all without slogging. Moe Nali 8.5 excellent at exploiting Australia's inadequacies against spin. His stats in the power play are outstanding, and he's got good variations. Not so effective in tests but very good in one-day games. Adil Rashid 8.5 He benefited from a couple of gifts but in general he earned his wickets with good balls. He gives Owen Morgan a wicket-taking option against the tail, who struggled to pick his googly, and his alliance with Moeen has been pivotal to England's success. Alex Hales 8 His 147 off 92 balls at Trent Bridge was phenomenal. And Hales did it under pressure with people saying he'd miss out when Ben Stokes comes back. Liam Plunkett 8 He's become a reliable wicket-taker in the middle overs, and England struggled a bit at Durham when he wasn't playing. He doesn't just bang it in, he bowls a lot of cross-seam deliveries and has one of the best-ever one-day strike rates. Mentally tough too. David Willey ate his best series for England. Stokes' absence meant Morgan used him more, and Willey responded well. He also showed what he could do with the bat, helping to seal the low-scoring game at the Oval. Owen Morgan 6.5 captained very well. He said after defeat by Scotland there was no need to panic, which was spot on, and brought on spinners at good moments. Kudos, too, for becoming England's leading one-day run scorer. Sam Curran 6 played just one game, but what he lacks in height and pace he tries to make up for with attitude. Jake Ball 5 didn't do much wrong. Ball showed composure with the bat at the end to help complete the whitewash. Joe Root 5 He's had a slow start to the summer. What he needs is to bat and bat, because he's a rhythm player. But it's ridiculous to suggest his place is under any threat. He averages over 50 in this format. Mark Wood 5 at his best in the previous game, at Durham. His speeds were up and he hit the right length. But when there's no reverse swing, his lack of height and lack of movement makes him hittable. Craig Overton 4 has a bit of bounds, but he either has to add a yard of pace, or copy Plunkett and add variations to his game. Sam Billings 3 He needs to play a lot of cricket because carrying the drinks isn't doing him any good. Australia Sean Marsh 8, Travis Head 7, Darcy Short 7, Billy Stainlake 6.5, Aaron Finch 6. Nathan Lyon 6, Glenn Maxwell 6, Kane Richardson 6, Ashton Ager 5, Alex Carey 5, Jai Richardson 4, Marcus Stoenis 4, Michael Nezer 3, Tim Payne 3, and Ty 3.